Welcome to another demonstration for web-based technologies. In this demonstration video, we're going to be looking at XAMPP, how to download it, install it, turn on services, and add files to the htdocs directory, and then browse it through the web browser. To begin with, we need to go and download and install XAMPP, or XAMPP, however you want to pronounce it. I don't care. So go to the apachefriends.org website, place a link down below in the description, and download the appropriate XAMPP version. So you can either have it for Windows, Linux, or Apple. And in this case, I'll be going to the XAMPP for Windows download. So awesome, the download should start automatically. If it doesn't, click here. If it hasn't automatically downloaded, click on the download button. It should then, hopefully. Great, it's starting to download. It's only going to take 21 minutes. Off to make coffee. Now that, now that the download has been downloaded, click on the Run button to begin the installation process. So it's picked up that I've got an antivirus running. Um, just click Yes on Continue with the installation. I did. Click Next. Click next again, and again click next. What a surprise. Click next, and setup is now ready to begin. Click the next button again, and it now begins to install. Should I make another copy? Hmm. So setup is now finished. Make sure you have that do you want to start the control panel now checkbox is checked, and click finish. Now that XAMPP has finished installing, let's have a look at the control panel. The XAMPP control panel consists of various modules. We've got Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat. You'll notice next to some of the services you have red X's. Click on the red X for Apache and MySQL to install them. Now that the services have been installed, click on the Start buttons next to Apache and MySQL to run the service. Now that the servers are running, we can begin using XAMPP. Let's begin by opening up our web browser. In this case, I like to use Google Chrome. I don't care what you use. In the address bar of your web browser, type in localhost. This will bring you to the XAMPP homepage. But where do we store our web documents? Hmm. Open up Windows Explorer, and no, this is not Internet Explorer. Go to your C drive, and you'll notice that there's an XAMPP folder. Within the XAMPP folder, you'll notice htdocs. This is where you store all of your web documents. It's best to store each project in its own separate folder. In this example, I've created a Hello World folder. I've also placed an index.html file as an example within the Hello World folder. Type in Hello World into your index.html file. Go back to your web browser and add Hello World to your address bar for localhost. And voila, Hello World displays in the web browser. And that's how you use XAMPP, by downloading it, installing it, installing the services, turning the services on, adding files to your htdocs, and browsing it through the web browser. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comment, description, just comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to our channel. Cheers. And ta-da, that's how you use XAMPP. By downloading it, installing it, turning on your services, adding files to your HT docs, and browsing it through your web browser.